Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on the buzzsaw fountain. And I'm going to pull a Peter because I just got kicked out of my house because I broke a lamp. And you have to hear these pickups, unfortunately. Um, okay. So basically, buzzsaw fountain requires two moves. It requires you to be able to do a forward buzzsaw. And it requires you to be able to do the opposite back to the buzzsaw. And when you do know your buzzsaws, you want to make sure your planes are straight. So right now, I hope it's facing the camera right, you can see that it's in one line, and that's pretty important. Um, okay. So, basically you start off by doing a forward buzzsaw on your right, moving down, switching backwards buzzsaw on your left, going over the top, switching back to the And not having your battery run out is also pretty important. Okay. So, um, first you could start out with learning the transition from your backward side to your forward side. It's, it's, both, it's easier to go forwards than backwards for most, for most people. So you have your backwards bus right here. So remember you're going over your head. And when you're going over your head from backwards to forwards from your left to right, you are going to lead with your outside hand. So it's, that's going to be my right hand in this case. So right now I have two circles going split time in opposite directions. And now I'm going to bring this hand over so that I have a bus stop here. Remember that in the actual bus stop fountain, this all happens very fast. So, you have this, go to this side, like that, go. So, okay. So, um, after you get over here, the next step is getting back to your backward side. So you're going to drop under and leave with your outside hand, which is your left hand, like this. And then you're going to drop your other hand back in. So. And after you transition, a lot of people have trouble with this, including me. You want to keep your planes nice and straight, even after you transition. I know it's hard to do, but it's better to take a while to let your planes settle in, then to just let them wobble, because then it doesn't really look like Buzzsaw Fountain. And one really awesome thing about Buzzsaw Fountain is that it looks like one of the most killer moves to people who don't know how to glow stick. So essentially, Buzzsaw Fountain is awesome because it literally looks like they're, well, sawing something. And a lot of people truly love it. Like that, this is the move that truly made me want to glow stick when I thought somebody do it on the first place. Anyways, um, oh yeah, one more thing. A lot of people get confused about moving inside and outside. I hope you can still see me on the screen. Um, because you have your backwards blood star right here. And to actually move outwards, it's like right now my right hand is spinning on this one side of me. But if I wanted to go to the other side, as for a fountain, it's going to start spinning on the other side of me. It's like that. So I'm going like this, and then I'm going to switch out and start going like that. Same thing with this hand. It's going backwards right here. It's going to switch out. Like right now it's on my outside. It's going to go in and be on my inside. So right now it's outside my hand. It's going to switch to inside my hand. And this is the same transition that happens on your other side. So like this, other side of hand, and your inside of hand. And this is the most awkward transition. Your right hand, when moving from your... Uh, forwards blood saw to your backwards blood saw. It goes like this, forwards, and then you have to, it's like on the outside of my hand when it's here. So I bring it over here, it's still on the outside of my hand. I need to pop it back inwards to complete the blood saw. So again, we have the backwards blood saw, right hand, left hand. Downwards, left hand, right hand. And that's the end of your tutorial on the bus. Uh